what's going on guys this is studio 42 and in today's video I'll show you how to make this pretty cool glitch effect right here in PowerPoint. There are two parts to this tutorial creating the glitch on images and then on text. I'll show you how to do each and then how to combine them. So let's get going. Let's begin by adding a series of images to our slides. Now that we have our images added, we are going to work on each slide and add certain animations to them. So let's start with slide number 1. Let's start by duplicating this image and increasing its size to just a little bit beyond the borders of the slide. Then let's go to picture format and give it some transparency of roughly 80%. Then in color, give it a blue shade. So it gives a slightly overlapping effect to our original image. Adjust the image. Let's go to animations and add the appear animation to this. Then let's go to add animation more emphasis effects and add the blink animation as well. Let's add the blink animation a second time. Having done that, adjust your animations to run with previous and decrease the duration of the blink effects. Adjust the delay as well. So it should look something like this. It should blink in and out. Now let's duplicate this new image once again. Go to picture format and give it a different shade. You can play with the size a little bit. And adjust the delay of this animation to begin after the previous one. Let's take a look. Now for our next image, we're going to slice this up into vertical stripes. So let's do that now. You don't have to follow the exact size of the stripes I'm cutting this image into. This is just a reference. You can follow any method you feel comfortable with yourself, depending on the type of image you're using. Having cut this image up into slices, let's copy the animation from the previous slide by going to Animation Painter and double clicking on it, and then coming down and pasting it onto each of these. Next, let's randomize the order of these animations. Right now, they're all happening simultaneously. We need to make them happen randomly. I'll be speeding up the randomization of the animations, but don't worry, I'll be giving a download so you can practice this yourself. And this is the effect we're looking for. Now for slide number 3, we're going to give it a similar effect that we did in slide number 1. So let's duplicate this image, drag it to larger than the slide size, and recolor it. Send it to back, and let's add the same animation we did from the slide 1. So we can just go to Animation Painter and give it the same animation. Once again, adjust your delays and try it out. 
You'll have to play around a lot with the delays and the order of the animations in order to get the effect that you're looking for. But this is just a matter of experimentation and there's no one way to do it really. Now let's move on to slide number 4. For slide number 4, we're going to cut this image up into horizontal strips instead of the vertical strips that we did earlier. So let's quickly do that first. Having created the stripes, now let's add some animation to this. So instead of the appear, this time let's try fly in and then add the blink animations to it. More emphasis effects, blink and add blink once again. Let's adjust them to run with previous and also the duration of the blinks. Let's paste this animation onto all the other stripes. Press Ctrl and select all your fly in animations. Right click Effect Options and add the bounce end. Then in Effect Options, you can also change the fly in from left and choose a couple of the different stripes to fly in from right. Let's have a look. Now we need to randomize the appearance. So once again, let's quickly do that. Let's take a look. And that's the effect we're looking for for slide number four. After slide number four, I'm going to add a new slide and insert the same image we used in slide number one. Now this isn't exactly necessary for you to do, but it, the entire point is to add more randomization to the slides. So feel free to experiment and play around with different images. I'm going to use the same animation painter and bring it to this image. Remember the blink effect is the key to creating the glitch. And now for our final slide. Let's duplicate this slide. Go to picture format and change this to saturation zero, basically change it to grayscale or black and white. Add the same animation from the previous one, the appear and blink. And let's go to the final image. Let's crop this into two horizontal stripes over the eyes and the mouth. And let's give these two stripes the fly in effect. Animation painter. And we can change this to fly in from right. And once again, let's adjust our delays and durations if necessary. Let's take a quick look. Now that we've created the series of slides with various effects and animations on it, let's create a new slide and paste everything we've created onto this slide. So slide number one, copy, paste, Slide number two, copy, paste. Slide number three, copy, paste. And so on with all our slides. Having done that, let's take a look at what we've created. And there you have your glitch animation. Feel free to experiment with the timings of the animation, adding more images, more effects. 
I'll be sharing a practice file with you with my animations in it so you can follow them at your own pace and try them out. Now let's move on to creating the text glitch. Let's start by adding a new slide, changing its background to black for ease of viewing and let's add some text. Change the color of your font and choose any font that you want to work with and increase its size. Right click on your text box, cut and then right click and paste as picture. Then crop this picture to the borders of the text. Having done that, once again cut it and paste it as picture again so now our borders are set. Now like we did earlier, we're going to slice this image up into horizontal shapes. Slice it up into as many shapes as you need. Now let's add some animation to this. We're going to make it fly in from the left and add the blink animations. Start with previous and adjust the duration. Let's add the bounce effect to this as well. Take a look. Now let's paste this animation into all our stripes. Now what we need to do is randomize this. Let's take a look. Now select your entire text box, duplicate it, add another animation to this in the exit disappear. Let's go to picture format and change the shade of this to blue and send to back. Let's duplicate this one more time and change the color to red. Now adjust your disappearing animations to run after all the other animations. Again don't worry if you can't follow along on this. Download the practice file and do this at your own pace. Let's have a look. Take the blue box and drag it behind the white one. With your arrow keys adjust the positioning. Now select the red box, make sure it's sent to back and adjust that also. Let's take a look. Almost there but it requires a little more fine tuning. Now let's duplicate our image glitch, select our text glitch, copy it and paste it here. And that's how you create glitch animations in images and text. If you find this content helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons to help out the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.